Everybody, welcome back, Green Country Baits. Uh, appreciate you taking time out of your day to come watch a painting session, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. The killer crawl pattern coming at you in just a few minutes. Come check it out. All right, we're about to begin our uh, killer crawl pattern. I'm going to be showing you three different ways. I know you've seen this in in probably multiple different videos. But I thought we'd put one all together. I'm going to do three different baits with three different types of stencils. Uh, and this is to help you beginners. Uh, the beginners out there, the ones that maybe don't have as much uh, free handing or don't want to cut and paste, which I've got several other crawl patterns that I, I can do and show. But I thought I'd show you the one with the insane custom stencil on the magwort. I'm going to do... Just a hand cut stencil uh, for the S crank that uh, that I've produced, and then a really good um, 3D molded crawl stencil for the Storm Wiggle Warp. Okay, so let's get to it now. The uh, entire color pattern that'll be done on all three of these is going to be the killer crawl, and I'll probably just show that particular deal on this S crank. All right, so that this video won't get too drawn out and too long. I know nobody stays with me more than about six to eight minutes anyway. So here we go. Let's get rolling. Uh, on this particular pattern, I'm going to throw down, also going to do some texturing uh, on this. Uh, but on this particular pattern, uh, I'm going to throw down the, the crawl lines first. And the reason why we're going to do that is because I want to freehand in my different color variations uh, as we go through so get some inside shading wipe your stencils off before you stick it to the next bait and I'm going to kind of line this up oh just so I know where these markers need to hit. Here again, I started just below that gill plate. <coughs> yeah, I'm on that one. Yeah, let's do it on this one. Can't make up my mind, folks. Here we go. Straighten that up. Magwort, again, insane custom crawl wheel. 
start just right below that. And for our last one, shading Take our mask off, give you an idea of what we got. There's our, I'm trying to remember where I got them right offhand. Uh, I know I've got a link in the description, I'm assuming. And we're going to get started laying down some colors now. So the first color we're going to throw down is going to be an iridescent turquoise. We're just going to color in those bottom halves. Need to reduce the pressure a little bit for our detail work. Going around 18. color up is we're going to blend our iridescent yellow top half
remove our nozzle cap and get a little bit of tip dry on the needle. And we're going to do a splatter. So we've reduced our pressure to, looks like 10 working pounds. Just doing some stippling. On the back of that. And I'm also gonna add some modeling. Got to put our needle back on. I should have done this first, but so that I don't get. As I was saying, so that I don't get smear any of those specks that I got on. Crank our pressure back up. We're going to put just toward the bottom of those markings. Get some small ones for this back side. Add a little texture to it. Makes it look good and lifelike. If it wants to fall that way, we'll just do it that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do to follow up, now I'm going to splatter, I'm going to leave the belly white, but I'm going to splatter it with all the colors that I put in here. We're going to start with a little black. This is the brown. I'm not wanting to 
come out real good. Probably got a little tip dry. I can afford to do this a little bit quicker than most because I've got four airbrushes loaded up with all my colors still. So it's a small amount of the turquoise. Blast it pretty good down the center with our yellow, iridescent yellow. All right, so let's give you guys a good close up. Of course, at the end, I'll shoot pictures of all these. Again, showed you some different techniques on, you know, how to put down a crawl stencil all in one video. You guys, let me know what you think of it. It is an excellent pattern. Uh, you need to try it out. Works in a lot of different water situations. That really bright yellow with those huge blue turquoise hues is a smallmouth killer. I'm telling you, you've got to try this out if you've got smallmouth in your waters or contact me through my website at www.greencountrybaits.com and we can hook you up with this custom pattern. Until next week, Green Country Baits, signing out.